so as you can tell, you probably already saw my other haul before this, and this is another haul because I decided to split up into two videos since I did a lot of shopping. And the first one was pretty much all fitness and like workout and loungewear. And then this one is just some makeup, beauty products, and then some other fashion items. So I'm gonna do another haul and I just wanna split up into two videos to avoid like a 20 minute long video. Okay, so I went to Sephora and Ulta and just got a bunch of stuff that I need to just like refill or just get new stuff. And so this is just the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. And I use this as like um, a serum all over my face before I put my lotion on and I ran out of it. Honestly, this always clears up my skin. I bought this like six times. I've been using it for so many years, probably the whole time I've been on YouTube. I swear by this stuff. I love this stuff. It is amazing. That's from Sephora. And then also from Sephora, I needed a new liquid liner and they didn't have any of the Kat Von D. So I got Ico. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, so I'll let you know if I like this. It just seems like a nice felt type liquid liner. Then I got new chappy stickies, and I got Baby Lips by Maybelline and an EOS ball, just mostly because the colors are pretty and I really wanted them. And I need lots of chapstick because it is winter and my lips are disgusting. Then this was an impulse buy, and it's like the Nails Ink Bling It On thing. And the reason I got it is because it has a bunch of different kinds of like diamond studs for your nails. And I saw this like picture at Topshop of a girl with like the coolest like nail like all these different like chunky things so i really want to do my nails for like a night out like really really cool with like, the black and like a bunch of diamonds on this finger then i got two new products that i've never used before from the brand organic this one and um I really like this one. What got me my attention is the Biotin because, like I said in my favorites video, I was using Biotin and I only used it for like a week. And I don't know if it was coincidence or it was from the Biotin, but I did break out. But I feel like I was breaking up before that. So I might try it again. But a lot of you guys commented saying that Biotin broke you guys out. So once I saw that and saw like a couple pimples, I just stopped using it. So since these two products said they had Biotin in it, I was like, oh, perfect. I was taking it for my hair anyway. So this one is a conditioner and then this one is a root boost spray and um i just sprayed in my hair after i get out of the shower only a little bit because my hair like starts thinning after a while and it just gets really yucky so i want to really take care of it because i feel like it's not growing as much as it should be and i really want it to be long by summer so i also got this and it's living proof restore recovery regimen for frequently colored process or extremely damaged hair and basically there's like this is totally messed up but there's a bunch of bottles and that's one um one what's it called what is it yeah. each tube is a single dose and so you use one instead of your conditioner once a week so like i used this one last night and i won't use this one until next tuesday and um you use it instead of a conditioner and it's just supposed to really like recover your hair so i'm hoping it helps a lot and then I got a new Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I have not rebought this in a really long time. I went through like Makeup Forever, um, Benefit, a couple different other ones, and I just felt like I barely ever wear foundation during the week, and I just feel like on the weekends I wanted to do a little like extra like, oh, I look surprisingly prettier than I did all week, ah, kind of thing. You don't feel me? All right, that's cool. But so I wanted to get another Laura Mercier, and I wanted to like match it to my skin tone right now. Um, I also got for during the week, this is the Naked Skin Beauty Balm by um, Urban Decay and I got it mostly because I just, the concept of it sounded really cool. There's only like one color of it. It's just a really, it's not even like a tinted moisturizer. It just says it's like, um, it says like, it doesn't really say what it is. It said it on the bottle but basically brightens your skin restores your skin there's all these facts about like how much better people's skin looked after like x amount of days of using it and stuff so i definitely want to try that out i've used it a couple times i really really like it then i got a new nail polish and it's like honestly my like new favorite nail polish i saw it on like pinterest or like Winello or something and it's the perfect this is better than like mint candy apple or like any of the essie ones it's julep and it's just on my nails right now it's just the perfect perfect washed out baby blue color and it's like really really light it almost looks like white from far away perfect 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 spring color it's going to be on my nails all the time then i just got a bunch of new more twisty ties and then i got another one of these deep conditioners as you can see i'm trying to like really make my hair grow really fast but i'm not overusing anything i'm just like trying a bunch of different things so i got that and then i went shopping for like some clothes and accessories i only got a couple things um from top shop i got rings so i got these just like little dangling rings then I got this big ring and then I got these little like ear studs that like make you look like you have gauges if you guys follow me on Instagram you know I had like those big ones that looked like I had gauges and I didn't they're just like fake they're from a top shop so I got those then I got this um Marc Jacobs 
big bag. Um, I've always wanted this bag, like forever. Like all my life I've wanted, <laughs> it sounds so stupid, but it's true. All my life I've wanted like this color, Marc Jacobs' this big hobo bag. It has the longer thing, which I'll probably use more. It's just like my perfect ideal bag. I've wanted this for so long. So since I got a Marc Jacobs for Christmas that was like bright pink, I knew that I wouldn't carry the bright pink as much and I knew I always wanted this, so I exchanged it. So I really didn't pay for this. This was this is technically a Christmas present, but I just exchanged it, so I figured I'd show you guys. And it's like perfect for spring with like all like the colors I plan on wearing. And then I went to Urban Outfitters and this is actually really embarrassing because everything is like the same color. But I really like cream, I really like light colors, and I just style them easier than I would with colors, so it's like I can pair different colored or different colored pants or different colored shorts or different necklaces and stuff so I just like styling cream colors better and I think they look better on me. So I got this and it's like sheer and then it's like a sweater. So I thought it was really cool and then it's like cuffed at the bottom. So I thought that was like definitely really really different. And then I got another cream sweater which is stupid because winter is almost over but whatever it's pretty light and the back looks like that. So it's just a regular sweater. Then I got this like just white button down to kind of layer with other stuff and, like or like layer loosely with other things. Then I got this because it's like a camouflage jacket and obviously that's like, it's not a jacket, it's just like um just a button up. So I feel like it's like not as much to commit to like an army jacket because that's a big commitment. Like if you're gonna spend a lot of money on an army jacket, like you best be wearing it a lot. And I'm not about to wear an army jacket every day because that's like, way too trendy so I thought I would just get like the button up and you can easily layer it with sweaters and make it look different every time wear it by itself whatever it's just not as big of a commitment but still like capturing that trend and then this is just a cute little tanky top that's like cut in the middle and I figured this would be cute to tuck into shorts to wear with pants um even tuck into like a flowy skirt so there's a lot you can do with that and then I got this um scarf because I wanted a light scarf because all my scarves are like just like the really heavy ones but I wanted a scarf that I could actually like wear out to dinner and stuff. And then lastly I got this top and I really want to wear it with um, like high waisted black shorts and then black tights. It's like striped navy and white striped and it looks really cool on camera but it doesn't look like that in real life so sorry. But yeah so it's just a nice little crop top to wear with like some shorter shorts, black heels, going out, whatever. So that's just a bunch of shopping I've done lately. I haven't went shop I haven't gone shopping in so long because I've been so busy with school. I haven't really much done anything besides sit in the library, so it's a really sad life. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, leave other video requests down below. I'm going to, I promise on my life, I swear across my heart, hope to die. I'm doing like a ton, a ton of spring lookbooks in spring fashion because I'm really excited about spring fashion. I always get really excited about spring fashion. And I just haven't had time because of school and everything. But if you have any other video requests, always leave them in the comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.